You're welcome, sir. That, that was interesting. That um, was weird. So, uh, what was the second? Fast lane's coming up. <laughs> Somebody, uh, Mike, what's happening in fast lane? Because I don't know anymore. Well, sorry, we're getting out of the pizza lane. We're changing into the <laughs> fast lane for WrestleMania. They actually just announced um, that the uh, Alberto Del Rio Calisto match is going to be the pre show. Oh, oh what the hell? Two what? out of three falls? Are you why kidding me? Is that the pre show. That is the pre show. I have no idea why. <sighs> Probably. I, I don't know, but but to make up for that, for the main card, they've announced this hot six-man tag. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> the Wyatt family. Oh, no. Versus the Titans of the WWE. Oh. Big Show, been here 10, 15 years. Kane, been here 20 years. And right back. Right back. Maybe Big Show will turn again, but this time become a Wyatt. No, it's <laughs> a big Wyatt. Now, is it Bray or is it going to be like the no. three other no, guys? Yeah. Of course, it's not Bray. It's the Misfits in action. So, yeah, it's the oddities without. It's the less fun curtains. oddities. It's the oddities that even the insane clown posse wouldn't hang with. <laughs> Garza, I, I, you, I mean, you're you're our retro, resident lucha expert uh, on the panel tonight. Well, I guess a lot of you guys are, to be honest. Um, but uh, but what do you think of uh, uh, Kalisto being relegated to the pre-show on this one? Well, it, it makes me think that there's not going to be a title change. So that that makes me happy because I don't want to see a title change again. Right. Uh, I, I do to ask: Is this the Two out of three balls match. Yep, oh, yes, it is. I was really hoping they would save that for WrestleMania because now I think they're going to do hair versus mask or something at WrestleMania. Or, but, uh, or throw it in a ladder match again. Yeah, that, that was really the match that I was most interested in. That and, and Jericho versus Styles. So I guess I'm going to have to start watching our review. <laughs> I got to tune in. <laughs> got yeah. to start tuning in at 6.30, Garza. Sorry. <laughs> listen to Booker T makes sense. Um, yeah, not listen looking to Booker at the T. Add, listen to Booker T. Add a T to the word good. Well, what is good. is this a state of we're not giving respect to a match like this, or do we have such good matches or important matches? Or, or... <laughs> I, I mean, come, wait, come on, sword. come on! At least let me get through the hypothetical question before you you laugh at it. No, I'm not laughing. <laughs> I'm going to argue, have, have Del Rio's matches really been that good since he returned? No. Mm, no. Against, against Callisto, yes. The last paper. The first one yeah. was very good. The first one was very mm. good. After that, eh. Either the pay per view, the Royal Rumble match was not the greatest. There was something off there for sure. Uh, but the Raw match was good, though. The Raw match was good, Faster. certainly. Um, so, but again, doesn't feel like something that we need four times, you know, just uh, like, do we really need the 12th match with Kevin Owens and Dolphin is finally for the belt. It doesn't, it doesn't make me care about it guys. Uh, but uh, this is WWE kind of booking themselves in the corner. It feels like it's like, okay, Owens, you know, especially like after that five way, they had so many ways they could go with the IC title. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, Stardust. Just give it. Give it to Tyler Breeze. Hey, Stardust is a thing that doesn't show up to just a Comic Con to pick on a, uh, an actor. Uh, and, and and hashtag Mayhem bump. Although, hashtag yeah, Mayhem bump. There you go. There you go. It, it did happen. On, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Uh, but anyways, um, no, it's it's interesting. I, hey, and and like we said, you know, we're at this point where we have two Divas matches on a pay per view. I'm actually excited for both of them, too. Yes! We got the title match between Brie and Charlotte. Of course, a little diversion to give Brie a little something before WrestleMania. Presumably, we'll have Sasha uh, and Charlotte. I'm a, little more, I'm a little bit more scared about that now, given Brie's announcement earlier this morning. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe they'll have a three-way and it'll be okay. I, I don't know. So I, I, I learned today I learned today that, that uh, Mickey James' uh, 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 her, her introduction and leading to that WrestleMania amazing match... Uh, was actually written for Lita. Yeah. Hmm. But she got huh. injured. So. so the besties were supposed to be friends with benefits? 
ish. I'm okay with any of these scenarios. So yes. as as a, a red blooded American honestly, man, honestly, I'm gonna say I don't think Lita would have been able to pull it off. No, probably not as much. Her, I don't. I don't, think her, think, I don't think she had the acting chops to do that. I think Mickey James did that flawlessly. I, I'm with no, you on that. It was supposed to be Mickey James Ward versus Lita. Oh, is that oh, the way? Oh, oh yeah. I think the oh. thing. I think the things. Because they're both like red hair and. Mm. Uh, Got I, it. I think okay. I think the thing was stated wrong then in the in the video that I watched. Hey, I heard it on YouTube, so it must have been right. Anyway, back to it. <laughs> uh, Brie and Charlotte. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, of course, Naomi and Tamina against Sasha and Becky. The newly the way, blonde uh, Becky. Yeah, I was gonna say, can we have a a moment of silence for Becky's orange hair? It, oh yeah, I saw it. That. Only, it only means that we're gonna have all red everything on Raw now. Yes. No, not necessarily. That's exactly what it means. No, I don't think so. She is she is gonna be the best Divas champion ever. No, Charlotte versus no. Eva WrestleMania. Okay. No, see, you're mocking, but Eva's actually doing pretty decent on NXT. Two out of three falls. Eva's gonna have a feud with Asuka at and at Takeover Dallas. I'm telling she you. She has a lot to show me, but <laughs> you know, we and I know if I really want it's Maxim magazine, but you know, but whatever. Um, but uh, wow, that's what Becky looks like now. I don't know. Yeah. I do not know how I feel about this. I, I'm hoping it's like a mid stage where she was getting the hair redone again. Yeah. So, so you have to go because I I've asked for um, a female's confirmation on it, and Jen Collins confirmed that to dye your hair that color, you have to go blonde first so that the the color pops more. So right. I'm hoping you- that's it. Are you saying she's going to go Silver Fox Dana Brooke? No, I'm saying she's just going to make it more orange. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, like she so, probably had to get it re-dyed. That's, there's nothing all wrong right, with that. All right, all right. Let my orange bombshell come back, please. Thank you. Um, I, by the way, has anybody seen her pun videos on, on Instagram lately? Sorg, Sorg. They're pun believable. Oh, jeez. Oh, um, <laughs> Sorg, Sorg. I, I wanted to punish DJ Lunchbox for sending him all those videos. And you wonder no. why he's taking a hiatus. Um, oh, but, that's the but real. I feel like it would have undermined the show. Well, <laughs> mark it, mark it. I'm editing. I'm just editing that part out. All right, guys. <laughs> it's a great, great time to end this whole show. So we're yeah, we can go home later. See you on five oh eight. Um. Anyways, uh. So so ladies are doing stuff. Uh, cutting edge peep show. Have we done that before? Have we? Yes. Have, have, yes. Like yes. this is a bit since both of them retired, right? I, it's, I, it's been I like this. I, 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 I think both are entertaining, and I think both will be more entertaining than Jericho has been um, up until recently. Uh, but uh, no, I, I, I'm, I'm okay with this. And and you had an interesting theory that was, I think, uh, I, we might have discussed over on a wrap up last night. What do you think is going to happen in this uh, oh. the new day on the cutting edge peep show with Edge and Christian? Sorg, all right, I think something very special is going to happen. I think that segment is going to turn into a tag team title change. Wait. It'll change. Um, and that, that change, I believe Edge and Christian are going to bring out two gentlemen who, although not from Canada, have very similar, shall we say, mic skills. Mm. And I believe that's where Enzo and Cass are going to make their WWE debut. I, I I I I'm okay on this, but I, I I think I think I need to put you out there, uh, Mike. I think okay. we, we, you I need a bold prediction from you. We got Francesca. Did I just make one. No 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not bold enough for the Wrestling Mayhem show, sir. Sir, <laughs> I got your interest. So we got Francesca. We got the Kazoos. Mm-hmm. If we introduce the instrument of choice for Enzo and Cass, what could it be? Oh, oh, that that's an excellent question. Um, oh, I got one. I got one too. Um, hold on, hold on. Um, it is going to be a monkey playing an organ called Giuseppe. Hold on, Big hold on. Cast. I need to process that one. I need to process yeah, that one for yeah. a second. It's like an organ grinder monkey. That, that, it's a thing, Sorg. It happens. 
It's going to be named Giuseppe. No, and no, we were talking we about Enzo to have Are a you... stuffed animal version of it in WWE Shop by early May. How's that for a bold fucking prediction? I think you just confused them for the VOD villains, but okay. Yeah, no, I did not. You haven't I, lived I, in Staten Island, Sorg. No, I haven't. I very obviously yeah. haven't. <laughs> And it's a thing. It's a it's a thing. Wow! What is this True. magical realm that is Staten Island? <laughs> what is this? Remember, Carmella had magical foam that turned Sylvester uh, Pierre the uh, the uh, Marcus uh, Marcus, uh, Marcus, uh, Marcus Louis yes. bold. She had a magical hair foam that did that. So I thought the Bronx was a weird world, but okay, yeah. all right, all right. There we go. Uh, are we forgetting that big Cass made one of the best NXT entrances of all time possible with blue pants. <gasps> yes, that is true. true. But he, they changed that. So you're they saying have. he is his own magical instrument. And he and, is the one man band. <laughs> because Enzo can also bang on his chest. So do you want to know why I'm also predicting this to happen? Because we will have Big Cass and Edge staying next to each other. And it'll be like a wacky funhouse mirror. It'll be great. <laughs> it's like a mega evolution. I, I can't. Oh my, Riz. Points. Thank you. Edge mega evolved into big cast and learned nothing because you can't teach that. Ah. <laughs> Points back at you. Thank you. I I have no I have no idea. Organ oh, grinding, reference. organ grinding monkey named Giuseppe Sorg. That's that's all you need to know. Man bongos Sorg. Fastlane. Um, hey, there's a main event, and I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze, and uh, Garza is gonna tell me how excited he is for the main event. I'm actually excited. Uh, there's not a Brock Lesnar match that I'm not excited for, and I, I okay, so it's pretty. I guess obvious that Roman Reigns is a chosen one, but just deep inside my heart, I see the possibility of Dean Ambrose winning, and that makes me happy. You you want to know what's gonna happen? I already know. I just trying to tell me. No, no tell me what no, your you tell me what your <laughs> tell me what your crystal ball says, sir. No spoilers, Mad Mike. Double pin. I was actually thinking of that. Double pin. Yeah. Hmm. Double pin. And it leads to Triple H versus both Shield members at WrestleMania. I, I don't think that's bold enough for the Wrestling Mayhem show. Triple pin. <laughs> All right, fine. Bold One dollar! One dollar! Sorry, 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 you want, sorry, you want my bold prediction? Just send me the organ grinding monkey is going to cash in. He's going to win that fucking match. <laughs> and then he's going to pull off the mask and boom, it's going to be Seth Rollins. Oh, no. Boom. Oh, no. <laughs> Bold prediction. Wow. Can we book that? Can we book that? Can we have a, a fast? I don't think that's... Can, can we, we have a real quick Giuseppe game? Can the organ grinding monkey into uh, me? Unless it's, unless it's space monkey under that mask. <sighs> I am not sold on that one. Face Monkey goes straight to WrestleMania. <laughs> so I'm okay with that. That's only because you haven't pictured Seth Rollins' two-toned head onto a tiny monkey body. You just haven't seen Space Monkey yet, have you? No, I have not. Oh, yeah, that's right. You didn't experience that. Yeah. Uh, available at uh, IndieWrestling.us. Uh, speaking of which, we're going to get to the big question. We're going to get to Mayhem Mania. IndieWrestling.us. There's a lot of stuff going in going on over there uh the great post by uh mr matt carlins a lot of great uh, uh photos a, a bisque was in the area this past weekend for vicious outcast wrestling uh aiw had a snowstorm and had a dance off lap dance kind of situation for missy hyatt up there in cleveland to uh please the fans uh a friend of the show friend of the only indie pleased show. one man that's all friend of the indie mayhem show uh uh jock samson was a part of whatever the heck was going on there from the looks of things go check that out it's the most visual most dynamic there's friend of the show uh delton castle at pro wrestling gorilla um mm -hmm. doing something I, I can't even describe that i, I did the body bend that way um a lot sword, of great stuff sword. going on pro wrestling gorilla that's where giuseppe the organ grunting monkey trained well there you go and there's a little bit of the um sexy 
action. Tracy Smothers, of course, a part of it. And uh, and 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 ladies throwing people into tables. Uh, all that and so much more. Hey, we're also uh, featuring a wrestler each week. Last week, we, we talked about Kalisto and his uh, 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 tour through Pittsburgh for the International Wrestling Cartel as Samurai Del Sol. Uh, this-